Hi Cancer, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and welcome to my channel. We are looking at what's playing out in your love life for the next three to four weeks. It's a very general reading. Take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And firstly, I'm going to look at the energy of the person that you're dealing with or you're likely to deal with. Okay. Ace of Cups. Okay, that's a good start. So how is this person coming across to Cancer? What's the energy like? Death. Okay. And the Two of Cups. Four of Swords. Okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. Let's take a look at your energy as well, Cancer. Six of Wands. That's nice. Okay. The Hermit. And the Lovers. Okay. So what's really interesting here is that we have the lovers on your side, we have the two of cups on their side and you can of course flip the sides as well okay it doesn't necessarily have to be that this is their energy but that's how I'm reading. Bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups so options, choices and also this energy of daydreaming of you know dreaming big and fantasizing and all of that okay. I feel like whoever you're dealing with could be somebody who either has recently closed down a chapter in their life or for many of you I feel like this is somebody who is coming around okay you have already dealt with this person but they can't stop thinking about you they are planning to and at least intending to approach you with this ace of cups okay with the judgment and the death card and the four of swords this person's been thinking about how to make changes how to approach you and they've gone through a bit of an awakening process okay since the time you've uh, met them last or connected with them last so if this is an ex for instance or if this is someone who maybe things just didn't blossom with now they are realizing you know what they've lost or they are they've decided basically to come towards you as a changed person okay they've gone through a huge transformation process and they may be still undergoing this these are two really big cards to get the death and the judgment card so they have been thinking about approaching you again okay wanting to bring back to life what they have lost or what they had to let go of for whatever reason okay because what they want to do is they want to unite with you they want to come into union with you cancer you i feel are talking about you know um focus pretty much on your own self okay your ambition your goals and you're riding a wave perhaps of success, of recognition, appreciation. You may also be getting a lot of attention from people, from suitors, okay? Because the Six of Wands usually shows people who are appreciative of and watching this person who's won a battle, who's, you know, um, riding the wave of success, like I said. And because you are possibly even visibly coming across to this person as someone who is um, you know really confident and someone who's you know glowing so to speak they may be feeling like they've they've missed out on an opportunity with you okay and with the hermit card there you're actually pretty much enjoying your own company You've got this very individualistic, independent energy. Nines to me are about that. And when this person presents this offer to you, I feel you're going to have to make some kind of a choice. 
Now it could also be that you have, like I said, multiple options, okay? Maybe uh, this choice involves another person, okay? Choose, having to choose between this person and somebody else. But at the very least, this involves options, okay? This involves choices. So you're going to have to make a choice by the end of this three to four weeks period cancer and I feel like it's also going to depend upon how this person makes you feel is what I'm hearing okay do they appreciate you for who you are do they recognize you and your talents your gifts your abilities uh, do you get that kind of you know all of us seek some on some level we do seek appreciation we seek validation are they able to provide that to you is what I'm getting, okay? That's, uh, I feel, one of the core things that you have been working on, you know, recognizing your own self, your own power, okay? And uh, you've been doing a lot of soul searching around that area, I feel. Um, and now, funnily enough, that's how the law of attraction works as well. Now that you don't actually... Um, you're not desperately looking for attention or validation, you're getting a lot of it, Cancer, okay? So that presents to you some options, some choices is what I feel. Let's get two cards from this um, Affirmators deck. We have Perspective. Let's get one for you as well. cleansing so that's pretty much like this i feel like you have done a lot of that cleansing work cancer okay and a lot of it may have to do also with boundaries you've been able to set boundaries now and you're really in this confidence stride i feel and that's attracting a lot of suitors to you okay so keep doing the good work because you have purified a lot of uh, I feel like you've done a lot of shadow work you've gone within to search for the answers to also you know you've learned a lot you've gained a lot of wisdom through your previous experiences and that hermit is shining the light here on kind of like the six of wands there you know um, on issues or yeah, on issues, you could say, or topics connected to your self-esteem, your sense of self-worth. And you have really worked hard on that, I feel, okay? This person has been also, you know, going through their awakening process and they are now coming about with a new perspective. They have had a shift in perspective as well, okay? So that's the awakening process that they have been going through. What's been the the issue or what is the issue between the two of them? Surrender. Okay. Bottom of the deck we have appreciation. So yeah, I feel like this person now appreciates you for who you are. And I'm hearing like fully accepts you with your, you know, so-called flaws and um, insecurities and the things that they may not like that much about you and this appreciation has a lot to do with you know your own self confidence in your own self appreciation so you've done a lot of work on self-love I feel and the idea here is to surrender to let go to release control I feel like in the past this person may have had you know like the devil kind of energy trying to control the outcome a bit too obsessive or too attached or you know maybe even running away uh, from this connection because um, you intimidated them in some way okay so they may be projecting a lot onto you you know their insecurities and now I feel like they they've gone through a lot um and you provoked this sort of awakening in them so they are now coming to a place of surrender okay and i feel like this is like the mutual energy that both of you kind of need to work on okay surrendering to 
the connection and appreciating each other for what you bring to the table and for who you really are okay let's get some cards from my deck what's happening here for cancer yeah we've got codependency detachment so i did suggest that this person may have been quite detached you've got boundaries for the second time in your reading and commitment what i'm getting here cancer is that this is a slow and steady process and this time out perhaps of you know contemplation on both sides actually has led to a lot of realization okay and that period of detachment has helped you work on issues connected to codependency boundaries and also this person may have been running away from commitment earlier because of like i said they projecting their own fears and insecurities onto you and maybe not being in the right frame of mind and right space to uh fully you know um i would say offer themselves to you okay to be fully there to be fully present for you where's this heading now for cancer okay we have the five of wands so there's some maybe some competition as well the magician I do feel like there are multiple people vying for your attention cancer. Yeah, look at that queen of wands, you're glowing. And you <laughs> I feel like, you know, I don't know if you you're in the public eye in some way, but this person may be keeping a watch on you. If this is not someone from the past, then those are the issues that they have had to work um through, okay? and i feel like they recognize that they have a lot of work to do because they want to meet you you know at the level that they see you at okay if that makes sense they are kind of putting you on a pedestal is what i'm getting but it's not for no reason because you're very confident you're very attractive you're in this amazing powerful empowered sort of energy now you've got the queen of wands six of wands and the magician i mean incredible and it has come after a period of not recognizing that in yourself okay i do feel like this person has been missing you as well if this is someone who's from the past then they have been missing you as well okay the emperor so it could be an aries but doesn't have to be and the two of wands you've got a lot of empowerment in your reading six of cups that's nostalgia could be a connection from the past definitely but at the very least it is a soul connection cancer and i feel like where this is heading all of this is heading towards this choice okay and this choice involves some kind of a sacrifice i feel that's the lovers for me but even with the two of wands I think it involves also, you know, this person needing to step out of their comfort zone and approaching you, okay? Um This is like two really strong, powerful personalities almost clashing with each other, okay? You want what you want and they want what they want. That kind of energy. But if you can actually surrender and not try to control the um the situation or the connection you can actually make great headway in this relationship okay or potential relationship whatever it may be for you now let's get some messages from this person to you cancer getting to know each other 
I feel so lost without you. So that's the five of cups that we saw at the bottom of the deck. And I do feel like this person's really thinking of you as like the one who got away, you know, that sort of thing. I love how you just get me. Hmm. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Wow. I can't be who you want me to be. So there is some hesitance towards this person. And I feel like maybe you have also uh, thought a lot about, you know, how you may be projecting some of your expectations on this person. And um, maybe your expectations are a bit too high. But there is this need to meet each other halfway, I feel. And really talk to each other about your needs and you know what you expect from the connection my surroundings didn't approve of you okay so there is possibly an element here of a third person having an influence on this connection could be a friend could be a family member or could be in general you know the cultural background and things like that i want to marry you wow but that's the that's the thoughts, okay, the thoughts that they have in their mind, but I don't know if they'll actually say that to you out loud, which is why we're trying to spill the tea a bit. I'm not the person I used to be. See, they have changed. If they do approach you with communication, you are going to notice that change, I feel. I check your social media to see what you're up to. Not surprised to see that. We have been watching you glow up, Cancer. Let's get some final cards here for what can Cancer. Firstly, let's get some advice for you, Cancer. What's the advice for you? Page of Cups. So the advice is to see it from a fresh perspective okay to have this childlike curiosity and to flirt to have fun okay not be too serious even though you have a lot of wisdom you're like an old soul um i'm also hearing you know give them the benefit of the doubt because i have a feeling like you have really high expectations from people whoever i'm reading for that's just what i'm picking up on here okay so yeah the fool so this is a very fun flirty open-hearted yeah let go of the past expectations and burdens and responsibilities you know of how things should be and all of that to start over from a fresh clean slate okay what can they expect in this connection going forward what can cancer expect Three of Cups. So this is like my dating card, you know, getting together, have having fun, but also reuniting for many of you. Okay. So there is a possibility here that you reconnect. And if this is a completely new person, you're putting yourself out there, you're wearing your heart on your sleeve now, and you know, you might actually start to date people and have fun. Don't block your heart though, Cancer, okay? And kind of be open to just having fun, just going with the flow, all right? Yeah. There is this bit of self-sabotage kind of energy here. That's the cards energy that I was picking up on with this person as well, the Seven of Swords. Okay. And also they may be spying on you, right? Let's get some cards from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. And then we'll wind this up. What can Cancer expect going forward in their up life? Romance. 
Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. And focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. And I was saying that maybe you need to cut them some slack. And uh, <laughs> whoever, you know, not necessarily this person, but whoever you're interested in. And, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. And we have appreciation again here. Okay. To appreciate each other. We did see this at the bottom of the deck here. I appreciate the unique ways other people show their love. Rather than compare their ways with my ways. Okay. So that may be something that you probably need to work on. Okay. Maybe both of you. That was your reading uh, cancer very interesting i hope this helps and i hope it brought you some clarity and insight i wish you all the best have a wonderful month ahead bye, -bye.